I think the most prominent advice that I hear regularly from pre-med advisors or like a Reddit community that's actually accurate is the idea that it is more important to review your exams than it is to take additional exams. And that is 100% accurate. If you get into this idea of just taking dozens and dozens of exams, then A, it's going to be pretty expensive, but B, you're never going to learn from your mistakes and you're just spending those eight hours to get a baseline and see where you're at rather than actually trying to improve. But let me streamline that process for you and show you um, what a professional MCAT tutor is actually looking for whenever we help you break down some of your full-length exams. There's three things that you should be paying attention to when reviewing a full-length MCAT exam. And the first one that you've got to identify for every single question is what is the basic science of this question? Now, of course, this really excludes cars, but what is the basic science of the question? And I want you to be fairly specific here. You know, don't tell me enzyme kinetics. Tell me we're trying to identify the KM for competitive inhibition. You need to be specific about what you're messing up on. The second thing that you really need to pay attention to and make note of is why did I miss this question? And you need to be very specific. So let's say, for instance, the question essentially asked um, what the line weaver burke plot for caffeine looked like. Now, in the passage, it tells you that caffeine is a non-competitive inhibitor, and your job is to pick up on that in the passage and then question be able to um, take that knowledge and just that knowledge that's a non-competitive inhibitor and pick out the appropriate plot for the line weaver burke and so you could miss that question because you either a don't know what the line weaver burke plot for a non-competitive inhibitor looks like or b you just completely spaced in the passage and you just didn't see that it's you're human it happens it's going to happen to you it has happened to me sometimes you just read over it and so that's a flaw in your passage analysis or strategy flaw. But whatever the issue is, the reason that you missed it, you need to figure out why you missed it. Once you've got that written down, the last thing that you want to focus on is what am I going to do to make sure that this never happens again? I know that's kind of dramatic, but it's really important because on the MCAT, one of the, one of the most frustrating parts is it's hard to figure out what you don't know. You know, if somebody told you that all you have to do to, to get a 520 on your MCAT is memorize the amino acids, your hormones, and um, all the physics equations, everybody would make a perfect score. Like, we, we, we would all go do that. But nobody's telling you what you don't know, and you're staring down this idea of um, there, there's like 20,000 facts on the MCAT, and there could be any number of them that I don't know. And that's what's frustrating about studying for it. But whenever you take a practice question, if you miss it, and the reason you missed it was because of, you didn't know that science, they're telling you exactly what it is that you don't know. And so you can't let that slide. You have to patch that immediately. And the way that you're gonna make sure that you never make that mistake again is by making a flashcard of it in a specific deck called Missed Concepts. So whether you use Anki or Quizlet or handwritten notes, I think Anki's the best, but whichever one you use, make a specific deck called Missed Concepts. And this is one that you need to review as often as you possibly can. So for instance, let's say that you missed a question that asks about the infrared spectroscopy resonance of a carbonyl. Um, you didn't know that it was 1700 inverse centimeters. That's fine. If you miss that on a practice question, that is okay. It's okay to not know all the sciences. No admissions committee is ever going to know that you didn't know that at one time. But they are going to know if you didn't patch that hole. They are going to know if you walked into that testing center unprepared. If you are, if you can see, if you've had this practice test tell you what it is that you don't know, then you need to go ahead and make a flashcard of it, put it in that misconcepts deck, and review it as often as possible so that you never miss that question again. Now, the other possibility is that you missed a question because of a strategy issue. You know, like we mentioned earlier, maybe your passage analysis is weak. And the way that you would fix that if you were working with me is something through, called the flowchart method I did a video on earlier. Um, or, or maybe you are uh, missimplifying the question. We've 
got a video for, for how to properly go about that too. What, whatever your issue is, uh, whatever your strategy issue is, what I found to be the most helpful in these cases, it's, it sounds funny, but it's punishment. So I remember working with one of my highest achieving students um, that was just trash at cars. And what we ended up working out is every single time he missed a question because he did not properly apply the main idea, he would have to go and take an additional practice passage and read out loud his main idea before he answered the questions. It didn't take very long for him to eventually begin answering every single question with the main idea when applicable. So punishment <laughs> is a great tool to motivate yourself to actually use the strategies that you're working so hard on doing because it's really normal in human psychology for us to get stressed out on a practice exam and end up reverting back to our old habits. But if you're like me, you're like the majority uh, of MCAT test takers, your old habits are not what you need to be relying on when taking this test. So in summary, there's really three things that you need to be asking yourself for every single question you review on a practice exam. The first one is, what was the basic science? The second one is going to be, why did I miss this question? And be, be specific here. And the third one's gonna be, what can I do to make sure that I never miss a question on this subject or in an approach similar to this ever again? To make this a little bit easier um, to, to follow, I've created a document and it is in the description below. So just go download that and share it with your friends um, to make, make reviewing as easy as possible. It's not beautiful, but it's gonna be very functional. It's gonna be your best friend as you're going through you know, this, this final four to six weeks of prep where you're probably gonna be taken anywhere between eight to 15 practice exams.